This week, the holy month of Ramadan began for Muslims across the world, including right here in West Michigan. Throughout this month, Muslim community members are taking time to fast, pray, and reflect on their blessings. Their tenure science, Jeremiah Brown, has been speaking with people in our community to learn more about this time of year. Jeremiah. Juliet and Elena, from sunrise to sunset, Muslims are currently fasting from any food or drink. A local imam, a spiritual leader in Islam, says this is a special time to focus on their relationship with God. Ramadan is the month in which the Quran, the holy book of the Muslims, was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. Imam Kip says this month is a time for increased acts of worship, including fasting. So it's just a little bit over 12 hours this time of year. So we fast from uh, any food or any drink at all, even water. While there are exemptions for health concerns, fasting is broken after sundown, with families and friends gathering for meals and special prayers. And so the idea is that things that are normally part of your everyday life, like eating and drinking, during this month you train yourself to leave those things. Then outside of the month of Ramadan, it becomes even easier for you to leave things that we should never be doing, like, you know, having jealousy in our hearts or speaking ill of other people. Kip says many community members may find themselves the only person fasting in their class or workplace, as people look forward to gathering together to enjoy their iftar meals after a day of fasting. Tons of people all coming together and we're waiting for that moment on the clock when it's time to break our fast and then everybody is eating and joyful. At Super Green Market in Kentwood, customers prepare for their family meals and tell us the season brings generosity and prayers for peace and we all break our fast at the same time. And before we break it, we make supplication, supplication to God, a nice prayer, not just for yourself and for everybody surrounding you and for the world in general. This year in particular, prayers for those caught in war and hardship. The hearts of people are very heavy because of the situation in Gaza. We have lots of our brothers and sisters in Islam who are fasting, but at the same time, you know, removed from their homes. We always pray for them and, and we keep them in our thoughts and in prayer. Ramadan will end on April 10th with the celebration of Eid al-Fitr. In the newsroom, I'm Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.